so that's the function object and it can be very useful for doing that. Um, we could also use it, of course, to control the uh, pitch of the um, of our SF play. Again, we have a line object. This time, this one's a, a normal line object. So what we can do is to convert that to line tilde. Notice when that, that when I do that, we lose the connection to the f uh, the f float object here, and we get an error message in our max window. Um, that doesn't matter. It's just to say you know you can't you can't connect a um, an MSP object downwards into a a max object. Anyway, so we'll make another floating uh, sorry function object and another button to trigger it and connect the second outlet to the line object. And this time we need to go to its inspector window in order to change well we can make it four seconds long again so here's our high domain display value so four seconds long but we also need to change its low and high display range so that for example we might want to go from normal pitch to uh, I don't know to eight times pitch And if I do that, <coughs> uh, and I draw some wiggles in, we will get some transposition over time, thrillingly. Okay. Um, what we need to do, of course, is to connect those two buttons together so that they trigger at the same time. So we'll put, connect a button to there and a button to there, and trigger them. As a fun, um, you can play with you can play with that. Uh, so again, um, the function object very very useful for controlling the line tilde object. It won't control a line a normal line object in the max domain, but it will in the, the MSP domain. Um, and again, to change its values, you need to go to its inspector window. There are other ways actually of changing its. I shouldn't really tell you this now because I've run out of time. Let's see how much. Oh, I'm well over. Uh, oh, well, stuff it. I'll still do it. Um, you can change its domain by sending a a message like set domain. Oops. And remember, we go back to this dollar one. It's amazingly useful dollar one uh, message. Send that into there, so we can change the 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 length of both of these um, objects at the same time. <clears throat> and I will send in um, a number box to both of that. So. Once again, we've got a message and then a value for that message um, that's constantly changeable. Um, and if I write in something like 5,000 into there, then it changes. Well, actually, what that's done is it's changed the length. Unlike last time, um, it's not it's not squished up the what, what's already in there. Um, it just stretches what's already in there in order to accommodate the five second domain length that we've put in there. Um, so this, this whole thing will now last for five seconds. Okay. Or we could make it last obviously a lot less than that. So we'll uh, make that go down to say uh, three quarters of a second. So you can make some quite nice gestures doing that as well. Um, <clears throat> so set domain. If I if it just said domain dollar one, then I think it changes uh, the length and squishes up the contents. Um, but uh, we, well, I shouldn't really I shouldn't really be confusing you with that. Um, just suffice it to say that you can do such things. Um, and uh, if you go to the objects help file, it should tell there you go. It tells you how to change those and how to use different so you can set the domain you can so you can change the displayed maximum and you can change the um there you go Ch change display and function so that it retains shape which is what we did and you can do the same with the range as well so that's function <laughs>